Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you how I embroider out using the um, 5x12 jumbo, jumbo overlapping hoop for the Brother PE770. So I bought this hoop off eBay a while back and I just decided that I was going to share with you. Um, I always buy these here which are my medium cut away stabilizer. I, that's what I always use. Um, so for the jumbo hoop I just end up overlapping two of them and it works fine. I've um, embroidered out doing this several times. I mean more than several times but this is one I just got done. So this one was on this hoop. So this design itself right here is a 5 by 7 Let's see if we can. This is my 5 by 7 hoop. So little Ariel there with a 5 by 7 And then I wanted to add the name, but I didn't want to re-hoop. Um, you can stitch out your design on the 5 by 7 and then when it's done, um, unhoop it and then re-hoop to add the name. But it's kind of tricky to try to, um, you know, get it straight and everything. Um, I have a way of doing that as well. But... Anyway, for this design, um, what I do is I just overlap my sheets. I think these are what? 10 by 12 sheets? I think they are. I'm not positive. I'll leave a link down below. But anyway, so I just hoop it, and I need two hands to do this, so I'm going to have to put the camera down. Okay, so I got them all in there. And this is what it looks like. So just as long as that's good and tight in there. Um, then I take my little grid here. I used to like to do it um, the other way with this flipped around this. And then I used to slip my little grids underneath just so they'd be flat. But this way works fine too. Um, I was just being an idiot. <laughs> So what I do is I just take a little pencil and I just mark inside these holes. I probably don't need to do all of them, but so that is that. And then when you get done marking your holes, I don't know if you can see them, there's little lines in there. So that is how I'm going to center up my shirt. And the next thing I do, let me grab it. It's eye spray, um, spray and bond. This is the basting adhesive. This is the sewable. You want to make sure it's sewable so it don't come up your needles. Um, and then it says will not gum up needles. So I just spray that real quick. That stuff is not good to smell, so usually I hold my breath, and then I spray it, and then I kind of walk away and let the air clear a little bit. Now let me get my shirt ready. Okay, what I did is I went ahead and folded my shirt in half. As you can see, it's in half. And then I just ironed down the middle so I can get that nice and straight. And then I just laid... My shirt down so the middle is touching these lines then I just flip the other half of my shirt over and push it down so that way it is straight on my embroidery hoop there are other ways I'm sure this is um, this is just the way that works for me so the important thing is you find things that work for you um, and if this way works for you then great and if it doesn't then you can find a different way to hoop your shirts but this is the method that I've been using for probably four years now and it works so um, I need to embroider out this one here which is going to be today's video but I also need to work on one for work as well um, this one is actually a giveaway I ha had on my channel. If you don't know, I daily vlog on a regular basis. Um, and those daily vlogs include 
me working on stuff and sharing tips that I've learned and where I buy stuff and as well as you know our family everyday life from cooking and cleaning and um, whatever we do but anyway um, I'm going to show you just really quickly this is the same method I used with my shirt I just fold it in half I'm doing this one-handed so it's kind of hard and I just make sure everything is lined up and even all the way down because if it's not even all the way down you're gonna have a crooked shirt <laughs> so and then I just kind of hit it with my iron and if you wanted to double check to see if your center line is even um, you can hit it with the iron and then open it up and look at it but I'm pretty confident so anyway Okay guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to um, put your 5x12 hoop onto your machine and I'm going to show you, first I'll put this up, as you can see we've got four um, loops, four hooks I should say, where you hook it on. Um, so you're going to, so this would be p position number one, and the two middle are position number two, and the two in are position number three. And if you are using the Sew What Pro, this is called a jumbo overlap. So, um, and if you're using the Sew What Pro, you can click on each positioning and it'll show you what is in that frame. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put it on the first because I'm going to embroider out the first one first. So that's all I do. And oop, is that on? There we go. And now I'm going to show you over here what I am making actually is Jojo Siwa. And it was for one of my giveaway winners. And it's just taken me over a month to get this um, made just because it has been so incredibly busy um, usually it's not this busy um, and in fact when I was doing my giveaways it was so slow like I was barely getting an order every couple days and now it seems like I'm getting multiple orders every single day which means I have to then turn out multiple orders every single day in order to keep up so um, and I also have a bunch of orders that I received off my Facebook that I have to complete as well so anyway um, so I'm just now getting around to making this one but I figured I'm gonna hurry up and try to get this one then so I can get a couple more while I'm able to but um, that's another thing if you're not subscribed to my channel um, I normally just vlog my daily life and that includes working on orders that includes sharing where I order stuff from um, tips that I've learned along the way places to buy things I do hauls craft hauls um, all that kind of stuff so if you're interested in seeing that type of stuff you can go ahead and subscribe get to know me get to know my family and yeah anyway we got stuff going on here okay so um, once you have your design it's gonna be split up hold on one second okay so when you do your design it's going to split it up into three different files so you're gonna have file number one file this one actually hey, she has two names so her name is Ellie May and then so it's going to split it into um, three files apparently it's on here twice but anyway um, so then the first design you're going to want to do in the top spot so I hooked it in the first these two up here so this one is going to be her face a Jojo Siwa and then once that is done stitched out I am going to move it into the second 
slot and then I'm going to select my next design which is the name Ellie and then after that's done stitched out I will go on and move my embroidery hoop again into the last slot and it'll stitch out May. So that is basically how a 5 by 12 hoop works for the Brother PE770. Um, it's an, called an over, a jumbo overlap is what it's called. So it doesn't stitch everything out together. It does it in like three separate steps. So let's stitch this one out. <laughs> It is done embroidering out Jojo. This one actually took a little over an hour, an hour and 14 minutes. So yeah, this over here, this hair, that's what took the longest, I think. Um, so yeah, Jojo took a long time. I didn't, looking at the design, I wouldn't think it would take that long, but anyway. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to move up or down or wherever going to go down two notches to the middle so now my embroidery hoop is on the two middle notches and um let's straighten this out and then I'm going to go um if you ever wonder why I keep cutting my thread on this one it's because my thread cutter don't work <laughs> I'm on my old embroidery machine I have two of them one's upstairs and this one is downstairs so um anyway so I'm going to go ahead and go to my next design, which would be, I told you she wanted two names put on it. Her name is Ellie Mae. So um, I actually have Stone's little cousin, which is my daughter. Her little cousin is named Ellie Mae. And actually, I think someone else is naming their daughter Ellie Mae. Um, anyway. So, I just moved it down to the second notch and now it will stitch it out. Okay guys, now that that was my second um, frame, I should say, I am going to go to the very last frame and uh, it's kind of funny because this hoop tends to bounce around a lot, mainly because I'm on a plastic table, but, um, yeah, I noticed that this actual, this frame, just because it is so big, it tends to bounce a lot, but it still turns out 
Um, so now I moved it to the very last um, notches. And I'm going to go here and select my pattern, which is, oops, May. And now we begin. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much. How can I tell you what I want? Okay guys, this is how my shirt turned out. This is how it looks. Again, this was done with my 12 or 5 by 12 embroidery hoop for the Brother PE770. Um, I will try to do a tutorial on how to um, upload your files onto your machine and how to get them to be a 5 by 7 or a 5x12 overlapping design and how I did this one. Um, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more tutorials. Not only tutorials, I do daily vlogging every day. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!